In Tarawa Dune Learners, we're meeting here to discuss how to handle Bulletron, the new AI who's been stirring up trouble online. Indeed, Aldaris, cyberbullying is not a trifling matter. Many victims are slandered, shamed, and made to feel unduly terrible about themselves. Even worse, victims often feel helpless because it's often done anonymously or in a way where the law cannot touch them. Cyberbullying was not so much of an issue when I was most of our learners' age. This was because social media didn't have as much of a presence and most learners didn't spend nearly as much time online. Shodas has shared with me her idea to combat Bulletron, but wanted to share it only with those who need to know. That includes Taylor and the learners, because they are vital to the plan. Also, per Phoenix's request, we temporarily disabled Shodas' sensory inputs via Taylor to give us privacy for this meeting. Are we sure we can completely trust Shodas? I know how manipulative she can be. You don't remember the havoc she caused before you existed, Aldaris. I too have my suspicions, but so far we've seen nothing since her departure from the interweb, which would indicate that she is not trustworthy. We'll keep a close eye on things just to make sure. Tell us of her plan, Aldaris. Shoda says that since she arrived in our world, one of her research goals was trying to figure out how the learner's comprehension level provides energy and stability to the interweb network. Yes, just like an old movie I recall where children screams powered a city inhabited by monsters. Shodas thinks that just how some machines give off electromagnetic radiation when powered, the learners emit a type of energy as well when engaged in learning. But how does that have anything to do with the interweb? And why only our learners and not others? She's still not sure yet, but she theorizes that the interweb has evolved in a way to where it's receptive to both machine and biological energy radiation, because the interweb itself is comprised of machine as well as human influence, similar to how some machines are able to break out of their original programming. As to why it's unique with these learners, that's still a mystery. Maybe it has something to do with Taylor. Because Bulletron and the other AIs originated from within the interweb, they would be susceptible to this energy it just needs to be channeled into the spike program, which will seek out and decompile him. As I recall from Artanis's and Dr. Bishop's briefings, this energy from the learner's comprehension takes time to build up. How long until we have enough to power the spike? Uh, not very long. Uh, within a couple of weeks, I imagine. All right, then. I'll leave you two to coordinate the execution of the plan. And learners, I ask you. Do your best to apply yourselves and learn as much as you can from your teachers, including Taylor. A lot of people, unaware as they are, are counting on you. In Taro Adun. I can see something is troubling you, Artemis. What's wrong? I admit the plan sounds reasonable, but I can't help but think we are starting a chain of events which may lead to Shota's causing problems for us again. I understand. I've watched those movies as well with Taylor, which had AIs online or even reciting within a human like Taylor and showed us with hidden agendas. But I believe she's changed, and we should give her the chance to prove that to us. I hope you're right, Aldaris. 